Hello guys, uh, welcome you all. Welcome to Academically. I'm Harika, a pharmacist practicing in Victoria. I'm an overseas pharmacist who's finished my graduation, post-graduation from India. Um, and I moved to Australia in like 2018. I'm currently a consultant pharmacist uh, accredited by Australian Association of Consultant Pharmacy. And I also work as a clinical pharmacist for a public sector hospital in regional Victoria. Uh, for the last six months, I've been associated with Academically, uh, being a teacher, a tutor to teach students um, and help them pass knowledge assessment of pharmaceutical sciences, uh, which is an entrance level exam, which enables overseas pharmacists to legally practice in Australia. Um, I've got Kaja with me, uh, one of my students who has successfully finished the exam. He's been with us for the last four months and he's done an excellent job, excellent hard work. Um, he was like a bit scared and like, um, you know, he was not so confident when he first started with us, but now he turned out to be a confident winner so congratulations kaja thank you thank you ma'am <laughs> hello so i thought your journey would be inspiring to all of us so i'll ask a few questions um to share your journey with us um to inspire us is that okay can i start the discussion yes ma'am okay so my first question as usual is um can you briefly introduce yourself where are you from and all that yes, Yes, I am. I'm Khaja Mohiddin. I'm from India. I had completed my bachelor's at Jawaharlal Nehru Technological University. And at now I'm uh, pursuing the M pharmacy at Acharya Nagarjuna University. Yes. Okay, so you're currently doing your M pharmacy in Acharya Nagarjuna University. Yes. Okay, so, so you, uh, what made you like think about caps and give caps? Yes, ma'am. I'd, uh, I'd see. Uh, uh, Yes, my dream was to migrate as a pharmacist to the abroad countries. So I am searching in uh, YouTube and I had seen that the Dr. Akram Ahmed's videos in YouTube. And uh, I had uh, I had think that they had started the academically as institute for, for the course of the CAPS yeah. exam in providing. Yes, um, that's that's I have seen that. Yeah. Yes, yeah. So you have seen the videos and you got inspired and you wanted to give CAPS. So you started yes, with that. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> good introduction. So um, can you please share your CAPS exam journey and how and your preparation strategy for all of us? Uh, yes, I had started my CAPS exam preparation onwards to July uh, yeah. through the academically, through academically. And they had the two lectures of Harika Ma'am and Arif Sir. They are the good guiders and they teach the uh, teach there, there is a huge syllabus to prepare for the CAPS examination, but they concise the syllabus and they told very, uh, they they explain the topic wise. It's so very nice, and they give the mock test for a uh, weekly and monthly, and they also give the, uh, and they also give the uh, study materials that they provide us, and they are very helpful to us. And I am very really impressed at the. Uh, last uh, one month of preparation, what they had given to us, like uh, they had the they had the recalls of previously ten years question papers that were really so helpful to me, and they explained that uh, they they don't explain only that of the answer and the remaining what uh, why they had uh, one answer is correct and the remaining are non correct. Why they are also explained that why the remaining are not correct and the correct ones is also. Okay, so and you they, like, yeah, go on, go on. Yes, that, that will help, helpful to me a lot. Yeah, so you much. like the way, like, um, other options, you know, why they are incorrect, uh, and, like, just the way you have to think in exam helped you so much in clearing the exam. Do you mean that? Yes, 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 yes ma'am. And they also, if you had any doubt, they will quickly respond to it. Yeah. If you had any issues, they, they are also the quickly response to it. That's good. Uh, thank you for that. <laughs> okay. Um, so, so what made you join? I like it's kind of a repeating question. What made you join academically? Academically, and how it helped in clearing your exam? You've like, do you want to yes. add any uh, point to? That? Yeah. Yes. Yes. In academically, there is the recorded classes. If you had any work, uh, that means if you had any work and we don't go through the live classes, there is a recorded classes in the Google Drive that will help the a lot because we can go through the recorded classes repeatedly so in that way we can uh, the concept will easily 
enter into our brain that is the main ones and the mock test the mock test is also the very helpful to me yes ma'am that's great so um how many times would you listen to a recorded session like in your practice in your like you know how how when like when you're preparing for your exam how many times did you record uh, listen to the recorded sessions to help you understand the concepts i go to the recorded videos 3 to 4 times ma'am 3 That's to 4 times and how many times did you do mocks no so four to five times i had do the mocks repeatedly repeatedly so how much time did you overall spend for the exam uh i spent the exam of four months of time but they i had taken the three to four times for the caps exam preparations they like three to four hours for a day three to four and hours. Then, uh, when we when you were getting nearer to the exam you know like closer to the deadline did you spend more time in preparation yes ma'am i had prepared the whole time preparation before Most like 15 yeah. days before 15 days one month yeah that's good a very good effort from you um what are your future plans yes, my future plan is uh, at present i have qualified my caps examination and i want to take the pta academic exam opted that uh, uh i want to i want to apply the visa and uh, migrate to the australia and work as a pharmacist in australia that's i'm sure you will do that <laughs> uh, i'm Thank sure you. you'll start your attempts what are your future plans oh uh, sorry um, i just covered the question um what is your advice give me a piece of advice for all your friends uh, who wants to give caps yes my advice is you have to aim the big you have to aim the big if you had really a big dream to migrate to australia and to work as a pharmacist in australia and you have to put the efforts for 3 to 4 hours daily and uh, and i also recommend you to join in academically because uh, because in 90 days they have completed the course and and we can definitely pass our exam by that as we, we don't go the any way they are provide the uh, handouts and lectures that will be enough to us and they providing the mock test and that also they enough for us to pass the caps examination thank you for such a good feedback <laughs> thank you thanks for the time today your journey was indeed inspiring to all of us and i hope more aspirants would follow your guide and be successful in their lives thank you kaja thanks for taking your time today thank you bye thank you, you ma'am bye ma'am